All right. Today we're going to be walking through how to soft mod your original Xbox. And uh, for this, it is easiest to use a non-platinum hits copy of Splinter Cell, a retail copy, a Xbox to USB cable, and a SanDisk Cruiser Blade 4GB USB 2.0 flash drive. I've also included the files down in the description to make this soft mod easier. Before we get started, plug the USB drive into the USB to Xbox cable and plug that cable into the Xbox. Then power on the Xbox and go to memory. It will look like it has stalled for a moment, just be patient. It should say that this memory drive has been erased. Now you should see your flash drive appear as a memory unit. Now you can take your flash drive and plug it into your computer USB slot. Windows is going to tell you that you have to format this disk in order to use it. Just click cancel. Once you have downloaded the files from the description, extract them to your desktop. Go into the Xbox Softmod Kit folder and navigate to the Explorer 360 folder and open Explorer 360. Click the drive button and click open. You should see partition 0. Right click partition 0 and click add new folder. Now navigate to the move to USB with Explorer 360 folder and drag and drop all of those folders to the white area underneath new folder in the right side of Explorer 360. This is going to take about 30 to 35 minutes. Do not do anything else with your computer. Do not click anything. Just be patient. When it is done, you should see all of those folders in the right side. I'm going to speed up the video and I'll see you when it's done. Now that your files have finished transferring onto the USB drive, remove the USB drive from your computer USB slot and insert it into the USB to Xbox cable. Power on your Xbox. Okay, navigate to memory, go to SID 5.11 installer USB. Copy SID 5.11 installer USB to the Xbox. Be patient, this could take a few minutes. Now navigate down to the SID 5 Splinter Cell NTSC save file and copy this to your Xbox as well. Okay, now insert your retail non-platinum hits copy of Splinter Cell. Okay, now go to Start Game and push A on Linux. Click Checkpoints. It will now load into SID5 Installer. Go to Backup and Restore Features. 
create an EEPROM backup. Press A on Backup EEPROM. Go ahead and back it up again just to make sure. Now navigate back to the previous menu. Go back into Backup and Restore Features. Create MS Backup. I've already created a backup, so I don't need to. And you can also create a C drive backup, which I've already done. But I'm going to do it again anyways for this video. Return to the previous menu and navigate to Install Single Boot Softmod. Select Standard. Navigate to XBMC Dashboard. Click Yes. Click OK. All requirements pass. Continue install. Click Yes. And now be patient, this could take a few minutes. Okay, once it is successfully installed the soft mod, it's going to pop up and say that you need to turn off your Xbox. Go ahead and click yes. Now open the, the Xbox disk drive and take out your copy of Splinter Cell. The Xbox should now boot into the soft modded dashboard. Okay, what I like to do is go down to settings, go into appearance. Go to skin and go to these little bubbles over here and press A. And what this will do is it will take you into the Xbox Classic skin, which is simplified version of uh, the other skins. Alright, you now have successfully soft modded your Xbox. Have fun. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate your time, Dino.